In this video, we're going to set up a SIP trunk between CUCM and CMS. First, using WinSCP, open up an SFTP session to the CMS so we can extract the intermediate and root CA certificates. Specifically, we need to get the root and intermediate certificates from the CA that signed the CallBridge certificate. It's possible that you just have one certificate for all your CMS services, in which case there's just the one certificate we need to worry about. Once you've downloaded these certificates, you need to go to the OS administration page of CUCM. Go to Security Certificate Management, and then click on Upload Certificate. Select the certificate purpose as Call Manager Trust and upload the CA certificate or bundle. If you have intermediate certificates, you have to upload them the exact same way. Note that there'll be a message that you need to restart services, however, this isn't needed specifically for the SIP trunk configuration. Once uploaded, you can check that they're there just by clicking Find on the same page and finding the name of the certificate. Next, go to the Unified CM Administration page. Go to System, Security, SIP Trunk Security Profile, and we're going to create a new SIP Trunk Security Profile for the CMS. Put in the name and the description, and put the security mode as encrypted. For the subject name, we need to add the FQDN of the CMS as it's configured in the server certificate that's used for the call bridge. Also check Accept Replaces header and click Save. Now that we have that set up, we need to create the SIP trunk. Go to Device Trunk and add a new SIP trunk. The trunk type is SIP trunk, the protocol is SIP, and service type is none. Click Next. We're going to put in a name. Pick a device pool. We're going to check Run on all active CUCM nodes. Scroll down and on the Calling and Connected Party Info Format options, select Deliver URI and DN in Connected Party if available. Then add the CMS FQDN and change the port to 5061 for secure SIP. Select the CMS Secure SIP Trunk Security Profile that we just created, and put the SIP profile as Telepresence Conferencing. Also, for the normalization script, pick Cisco Meeting Server Interop. Then hit Save and reset the SIP trunk. Within a minute or two, your SIP trunk should be in full service and you can use it for setting up a conference bridge or direct calling to the CMS. That's all there is to setting up a secure SIP trunk to the CMS. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.